Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michelle Nicole and I put makeup on my face. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Really, really happy. Okay, so a few things before we get into today's video. So, my last couple videos, actually, yeah, it'll be up before this one. The Elf Retro Paradise collection. I did a look with that palette. And as you know from my video before that, I got three orders. So I do have in this video, this video right here, we are having two e.l.f. giveaways. One of the giveaways will have the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette with all the other duplicate e.l.f. items. And then the other one will be all the duplicate items plus the Violet Voss 2 palette because I only have one extra e.l.f. retro palette because I'm giving one. I explained it in that video. But today's video, we are having two giveaways. It will end two weeks from the day this video is uploaded. U.S. only. Just leave a comment. You have to be subscribed and leave a way for me to contact you. Instagram, Twitter, email, anything like that. And you have to be 18 years or old. Jesus, 18 years or older because, I mean, you're giving an adult your address, so that's why. But yeah, super excited for that. Cannot wait for you to get these two palettes. The e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette is absolutely fucking amazing. And I know in my last videos I had purple and slate grayish purple hair. I just got out of the shower. I got bored, so I redid my hair. I did purple, faded into mint. All the colors in my hair are Arctic Fox. That is like the only hair dye I use and love. And then the mint is Wella Color Charm paints, hair paints. I like that too. It's all demi and semi-permanent. And I couldn't just stop with the purple faded into mint. Because I saw this hairstyle on someone. Can't remember who on online. I was like, I have to do that. But then I couldn't stop there. I put virgin pink and cosmic sunshine in the front of my hair. Because I'm thinking, I do this look a lot. I pin back these two pieces. And I think it will just look cute. Or to have two little space buns that are sunshiny. I don't know. I can never just stop with one or two colors. I always have to throw up hair dye on my head. I like it. My head. So there we go. Okay, so first I'm going to start by throwing some sanitizer in my hand. Okay, so for today's video I have a couple of the e.l.f. items I did not use in my e.l.f. video. I have the Soothing Facial Oil Mist and the Mermaid Shimmy Eye thing. But the main event for this video is the ColourPop and Candyland Candy Castle eyeshadow palette and one of the blushes. That's all that really interested me, so that's all I got. The palette looks so beautiful. It is raised texture right there. It's that soft matte feeling. And it is just so freaking cute. Look at that. I haven't even swatched this myself. This is one of their 10 pan palettes. And it has a mirror in it, which is awesome. Plastic. These are the shades. So very pastel y with some browns in here to deepen it up. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna swatch a few. I'm pretty sure that this is a super shock. Yeah, sugar high is a super shock. Oh my gosh, that mint teal color matches my hair. Okay, so I just swatched a few of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
that purple. Well, there's nothing on that finger. That's the super sharp. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my god. I can't even open it. I have no idea what I want to do today. But since I have like ColourPop products, I did pull out my ColourPop bronzer and blush and powder and primer and setting spray. And then for concealer, I am going to be retrying the Born This Way that I got in my BoxyCharm. But I just want to focus on these. Oh, and also new for today, I got the Fenty Beauty Mascara in a Sephora Little Favorites. That video is already up. And also got the little cutie stamp from ColourPop, the little heart. I've learned it doesn't do very good on your hand. Like it bleeds on your hand, but I have done it on my face. And it does not bleed on my face. But I will tell you, these stain like a motherfucker. Like, they do not go away. They take forever. Even with an oil-based remover, they take forever to go away. My eyes are primed. I am just going to jump in because I don't want this video to be forever like all my other videos. But...
So this is the almost finished eye look. Messed up the wings a little bit. I love this palette. I always end up matching my eyes to my hair. I don't know how, but I do. It's just subconscious, I guess. This palette is beautiful. I would be very curious to see how this would look on how this would look on deeper skin tones because it is very very pastel like even more pastel than their tie-dye collection this is pastel like this one this one this one and even this one no not that one this one and probably that one oh that's pretty whoa that's pigmented very pastel so i don't know okay i am going to speed through this face part real quick actually let's pick an eyeliner real quick I always go with these two. Always. We're gonna put. Is that the name of it? Fresh.
Okay, my beautiful people. I am loving this. Do you see that super shock color? Um, sugar high? Yeah, sugar high. This one on my inner corner. That is fucking beautiful. So I've done everything that's not part of this. This is the Candyland Blush Super Shock Cheek and Gumdrop Pass. There was like a peachy one, a pinky one, and a neutrally one. This is the more neutrally one. I'm trying to find a brush that I want to use with this. Let me see. It does have like highlight swirled in it. So it is a very shimmery blush. Oh, it smells! I knew the palette had like a kind of scent to it. But this smells like sweet and fruity. This will go really good with the eye look too and I didn't even plan that. Super Shock Cheeks to me if you use a brush, you have to build it, like a lot. You can use a sponge. You can use your fingers. That is so pretty. Do I look really bright? Did that help? I don't know. I feel like I look really overexposed. Oh, it smells so good. And it's so pr I don't think this would show up on a deeper skin tone. I really don't. The smell is actually quite strong when you get it close to your nose. So cute. I love that. Love that. Okay. My camera cut off while I was putting on the Fenty mascara. This is what it looks like with like one and a half coats. This mascara is amazing. I smudged my little thingies with the eyelash curler, but it's okay. I'm taking this all off to go to the pool anyway. So let me clean up my little mess, my big mess. This, whoa. 
is the finished look using the Colourpop Candyland collection. A couple pieces from it and some other goodies. I was so excited to try. I absolutely love this look. I truly don't know how this collection would be on deeper skin tones. I'm going to look it up after I'm done with this. But I love it. I'm about to take it off to go swimming. I am not getting my hair wet because I don't want it to fade since it's fresh. Now that it's drying, the mint is really popping. It matches my little tears, my little mermaid shimmy tears. I love this look so much. I'm going to take a picture first. And yeah, don't forget to enter the giveaway that is going on. There will be two winners, so comment as much as you want. Just make sure you leave a way for me to contact you and that you are subscribed and like this video. And I'm missing a nail. And thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to get my kids out to the pool before it gets too late. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!